Hey everybody, got another interview for you. Jeff RBC here, right? And he's an incredible saxophonist uh, around one this area. One of those things is true. <laughs> one of those things. I'm incredible. Apparently that's what <laughs> Which one? Are you are you Jack Jack? Or are you are you Dash? You look kind of like Dash. I don't know. With all the ridiculous notes I just played, Dash might be the right one. <laughs> they weren't good notes. They were just fast. So how long have you been playing music in general? Too long, I think. Too opinion. long? You don't want to say? <laughs> oh, gosh. 28 years. 28 years? That's impressive. Just kidding. I'm 28 years old. 18 years. <laughs> That's how old my wife is, she says, for the 16th time. <laughs> right? I love it. So uh, what made you choose saxophone? What drew you to that and, and reads in general? You also play clarinet, right? Yeah, so saxophone, like, I, I have so many friends with, like, great stories. Like, a friend of mine, Jody, she's... She uh, has a story where she found this, uh, saw this guy in Sesame Street playing saxophone. She went, yeah, yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah, my brother played saxophone. That, that's as far as it goes. So I play huh. saxophone. That'll work, man. Hey, whatever gets you to it. Right. So um, why jazz? What um, drew you to that over anything else? So in grade school, I actually started playing jazz a little bit in jazz bands. And I thought I had fun with it. And my father kind of likes a lot of the crooners. You know, sure. Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra. So that was on a lot. And then um, in high school, I started playing jazz. And then my first semester of college, I was a foreign language major. Okay. I wow. made mistakes. Um, <laughs> and after that semester, I realized I really missed jazz band. So I talked to good old Larry Harms at ICC. Yes, yes you did. Yeah, I did. That was the greatest conversation I ever had. Because he was like, yeah, come join the jazz band. We need a tenor player. Okay. How has that, how has that improved your ability working with Larry? Oh, my God. 90% of what I know is from Larry, whether that's Jazz Train or whether that's from ICC or taking lessons. Like, the other 10% is Toby Thomas, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both are like incredible players around this area, which I hope one day we'll get an interview with. It'd be great. Tell me, uh, what with, when you're learning with Larry, what's one particular area that you would say has developed better than anything else in your play? Um, oh gosh, specifically working with Larry. Um, so I, I was not at the intellectual point that I was now that I was when I took with him. So I really wish I would pay more attention to this. But the man is a theory genius. Okay. So if you ever take with Larry, talk to him about theory and just record it so you can listen back to it later on like slow motion because <laughs> you'll have to slow it down. Um, gosh, probably tone. Tone, yeah. tone or style? Yeah, I would have, well, I, I had a feeling you would have said tone. Because yeah. so many people, when they talk about Larry Harms, they say, you sit with Larry, you talk with Larry, you, work, you study with Larry, you're going to improve your tone. Oh, yeah. Because right. he's massive about that. That's that's what makes or breaks a saxophone player. True. True. So, that's, that's wonderful. You know, that's good. I think that's a good intro to you. And I enjoy that. So uh, I enjoy getting a chance to chat with other people that I've worked with, that I've played music with, and get you to introduce to them. So thanks for watching, Bears. I'll, uh, I'll see you later. Peace.